Welcome to this course on LPI's Linux Essentials Certification Exam. In this course, you're going to learn everything you need to know to take and pass the Linux Essentials Certification Exam from the Linux Professional Institute on your first attempt. Now, in addition to that, you're going to be exposed to several Linux distributions and gain a working knowledge of Linux security and administration so that you can gain the technical proficiency needed to work in the Linux command line. Now, whether you're taking this course to learn the foundations of the Linux operating system, or you're taking this course to prepare for that certification exam so you can get a new job or advance in your current organization, this course is designed specifically for you. Now, this course is going to provide you with an exceptional overview of the Linux operating system. I'm going to provide you with both the history and the theoretical background of the operating system, but I'm also going to give you a ton of hands-on labs and activities to ensure that you can become effective as a user of the Linux OS. Now, before we dive into the course materials, let me provide you with a quick introduction to Linux. Whether you're an experienced Linux user or you've never heard of Linux before, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Now, Linux is an open source operating system based on an older operating system known as Unix. Now, unlike Windows or Mac, there's no single company behind the Linux operating system. Instead, it was started by one man named Linus Torvalds. Now, he believed that in real open source, you have the right to control your own destiny. With no corporate oversight and no profits that need to be made, Linus and the worldwide community of programmers built an entirely functional operating system that was platform and architecture independent. Now, we're going to talk a lot more about the specifics of Linux throughout this course, obviously, but what makes Linux so unique and so different is its open source nature. This means that anyone can access and read the entire source code for the entire Linux operating system, but it also means that they can change it however they like and make their own versions called distributions. Now, Linus once said, in open source, we feel strongly that to really do something well, you have to get a lot of people involved. And it's estimated that over 16,000 developers from more than 1,400 companies have contributed to the Linux kernel since 2005, and all of them did it as a labor of love, not for a paycheck. It is really an unusual and a beautiful thing that has come out of the creation of Linux. It's been widely adopted, and in fact, as you're accessing the web server right now to watch this video, you're most likely accessing a Linux system. According to Alexa's data, over 96% of the top 1 million web servers are running Linux as their operating system. But Linux isn't just for servers. It's also a fully functional desktop operating system too. And it's also gone mobile. If you use an Android phone, well guess what? You're actually running Linux because Android is just a distribution based on Linux. Now, Linux is also the number one operating system in use by the Internet of Things or IoT devices. So, if you have a smart thermostat, a network security camera, or a smart TV, the chances are you're actually using Linux already and you just didn't know it. So, by now I hope I've gotten you excited about Linux and you're ready to jump into the course and you're going to learn all about it in depth. But first, I want to take a small detour in the course to introduce myself and share four important tips to help you learn better during our time together. First, my name is Jason Dion, and I'm the lead instructor at Dion Training Solutions. I've been working in IT and the cybersecurity field for over two decades for organizations large and small. During that time, I've worked as a web developer, a programmer, a network engineer, and a cybersecurity practitioner. Throughout these past 20 years, I've been working with the Linux operating system in almost everything I've done. As I've already said, Linux really is everywhere. So my point in telling you all of this is that I'm not just an instructor, but I'm also a big fan of Linux and what it can do within our organizations. I have decades of experience with Linux, so rest assured you are in good hands. Now, here are the four tips for success in this course. First, every video in this course, you're going to have the ability to turn on closed captions. Each video is captioned by a real human for accuracy, and this is going to allow you to read along with the course if you need to. Many of my students really love having the captions playing along with the videos to aid in their learning. Now, if you want to enable closed captions, simply click on the CC button in the bottom of the video player. My second tip is about the video playback speed. Some of my students say I talk too fast, and others say I talk too slow. Either way, though, you can control the speed of instruction by clicking on that 1x button in the bottom of the video player. If you want me to teach faster, select 1.25x or 1.5x. If you want me to teach slower, just click on 0.75x or 0.5x. Faster or slower, the choice is yours. Now, the third and probably one of the most important tips is that this course comes with a downloadable study guide as a PDF that you can get from the next lesson. 
I recommend that you download it, you print it, you take notes on it, and you refer back to it during your offline studies before you take the certification exam. My fourth and final tip is our student support group. We have a student support group that we've set up with thousands of other students who are learning Linux, cybersecurity, project management, and other IT certifications through our courses. If you want to join the fun, you can find us at facebook.com slash groups slash Dion Training and request to join this private group. In this group, we're going to answer your questions, put out additional free content, and help support each other throughout our careers. Also, if you ask your questions there, you're likely going to get an answer within just a few minutes because there are thousands of other students, both past and present, who join in the conversations. So if you're on Facebook, I highly recommend joining this group. Now, if you aren't on Facebook, you can still ask questions if you get stuck during the course. Simply send me an email at support at deontraining.com with your question and the course you're taking because we're teaching over 20 different courses at any given time. Either myself or one of my team members will answer your question submitted by email within one to two days in most cases. Like I said, our Facebook group does tend to get your questions answered more quickly because there's so many more people online and available at all times of the day or night, whereas our support email is only answered during normal business hours. So with all of the introductions behind us, let's get started learning all about the LPI Linux Essentials exam.